everybody, my name is Olivia and welcome to Flippy TV. I'm really excited because I'm here with Dan Lasak versus Screwius Pip. Welcome lads, it's your second or third time back to Limerick? Yeah, is it? No, the second? Yeah. It feels like the, the, the second, it could be the third yeah. though. Yes. Was Limerick the, the first time Limerick did we play in hell? Possibly. Like, was sure that the one in the tent in the club that didn't know Oh, was it in Trinity Rooms maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In, the back, in the back, the oh, courtyard type yeah, area. Yeah, so it was really small. Yeah. And just before we started setting what up our it? stuff, they tried to put a bar on the stage. And like, all right, you, you do a lot of gigs then, guys. Yeah, it's good. Thanks. <laughs> it's like, well, no. No, Thanks, no bar. Well, if you guys want to have the bar there and we yeah. just take our drinks for free, that's purely for us. That's guys, yeah. And um, Wheelands is sold out in Dublin, that must be. Yeah. It's a big thing, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that should be good. We're doing yeah. two there now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so we're doing a, a daytime one on the day after. The at kids. Wheelands for Yeah. Oh, that's going to be all ages, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. going to be brilliant. That'd be interesting. Yeah. And Roisin Dub was sold out last night. Very yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was a really nice I one. Supposedly tonight is like, it's expected to sell out tonight cool. as well. Like, you Should know, be fun. A lot of people, Limerick people, they don't like buy, don't like to buy their tickets in advance, yeah. but you'll yeah, see yeah. there'll be a really good crowd here cool. tonight. There is a recession on. Yeah. But 12 euros isn't a lot, like. Yeah. No, it's quite reasonable, but yeah. you know, we, we need our excuses. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a reception, oh, the weather. In all fairness, oh. we had to get the ferry over. You know? Yeah, we did yeah, yeah. yeah, it was hard work. You know, they it's made it work here for you here. guys, you know, they made it here for you guys. It would be so. rude if they didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, just start with a couple of easy questions. Um, who would be your biggest influence? Well, that's an easy question, isn't it? <laughs> My God, she's a liar. She's <laughs> <bold. laughs> what? what? I can't even start. Um, Martin Hannett, Joy Division, uh, Apex Twin, Scorpion, LP, St. Francis, uh, can I just keep going? Queen. It's a never ending list. Meat yeah. Dog. Uh, just Me any, any music <laughs> yeah. I've ever heard. Heard, yeah. It's just influenced everywhere. Yeah. yeah. But you can't answer music. <laughs> you Unless you're in music, because yeah. he's good. Because I, I, I mean, one of the reasons. The music we make is always hard to put into a category because there's not one obvious. We've yeah. not gone, oh, I like that kind of music. Let's make that or be yeah. that. So yeah, it's going to be a more varied and, and right. wide range. Yeah. You're influenced by anyone who's ever talked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pr pretty much. Yeah, they all get in there. Would Stephen Fry be a big influence for you? Yeah. You do mention him. I'd, yeah, he'd get in there, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's a weird one. I don't know. I don't know how yeah, much he's not really an influence, influence. on your lyrics. Just no. your sexuality. Well, maybe. <laughs> I am straight, so maybe I've been put off by yeah. getting it right. <laughs> um, what are you guys listening to right now? You. <laughs> Music, you <laughs> Silent in here. What are you talking no, about? No, but like, what would be on your, what would be like on your iPod or like? You know, uh, what would you? Last record I listened to was B Dolan, The Failure. He happens to be our support. Oh, very good. Brilliant. Yeah. That's good. I've been listening to loads of podcasts so yeah. they can never have any music on them. That's so it's true, just, yeah. So it's all talking. Just Adam and Joe talking so, or so Dave Gorman talking. So literally it is all talking. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it, is, yeah it seems to be. Dylan's <laughs> talking. Yeah. How would you guys describe your sound to someone who's never heard it before? We just, just to have a listen, kind of. It's, it's, yeah, it's a tough one to, yeah. to describe. It's got elements of hip hop and electro, and spoken word and yeah. dance, and just all sorts of all different areas. So it's a it's a tough one to try and put it in one yeah, bracket yeah, yeah. because there is the variation between songs as well. So you literally like just just go listen. Just to have it. a listen and see if you like it. Yeah. Just put them in front of a computer and type in myspace.com forward slash the sack versus pip. That's clever. That's yeah. <laughs> Um, you gained a huge following on MySpace. Would you put a lot of your success down to this? Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's a really great outlet for bands. Yeah. You know, it's a really simple thing. It's a weird thing because it's like News Corp and it's an evil company that yeah. owns it. But it does give you the opportunity to have everything in one place without having that need to design a website right. and stuff. Mm -hmm. and Although the, the social interaction on it is just nonsense now, it's yeah. still it's still a, a, a great home for bands to yeah. start with. Definitely so more particularly when you're, you're starting off and you don't have the budget or know exactly, how to yeah. make a website or have from there, it's a great way that it's a, 
a template that everyone knows how to use, everyone uh, knows yeah. their way around it to just... Uh, it's so it's actually one of the easier ones to use, like Facebook, mm. it can be a bit hard to navigate at well, first when you bands. go on Yeah, Facebook are still not really up for having bands on there, because there's no okay. sensible way of putting your music on there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's, you have to kind of send them a copy of your passport and prove that you own the music you're yeah, putting on yeah. there. So it means for any band starting out, yeah, it's not, it's it's just, well, it's not easy. It's just difficult, yeah. yeah. But it's just a pain. Yeah. Um, what do you mean by thou shalt always kill? Murder. <laughs> you should just kill people all day. That's, that's how you should yeah. start your day and end it. That's it. it. We're it's positive, big, big murderers. Yeah. <laughs> very positive, yeah. I killed our three people well. today already. Yeah, yeah. On the ferry? And, <laughs> and then you got your coffee. <laughs> and then I got my then coffee. Then it was okay. Yeah. Yeah. That is, it's just uh, uh, using the hip hop kind of terminology and vernacular of if you've done a good show, you've, 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 you've killed, killed a show. It, yeah. So it's literally from that. Okay. But then tons of people have interpreted it in loads of different ways, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is great. It's always good fun. Very good. Thou shalt always think of it smash it. Like. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't work. Um, what provoked you to write a song about beauty using Tommy Cooper's death as a metaphor? Um, it was was just a weird idea I had. And it was uh, something that when I came up with it, I didn't think it had ever or make it onto the record particularly things like that I kind of I'd said to them I've come up with this idea of this track and this yeah. kind of idea of a vocal and lyric but it was so odd that I didn't think it particularly worked yeah. but then the beat that Dan made just made it really accessible and comfortable and it just seemed to sit nicely and went down well and it did it, it was just it was one of them I, I laying in bed type things where I thought of how it is really nice and it is really yeah, yeah. it all works so yeah, it just it came together weirdly. Yeah. Have you ever been in any trouble about your lyrics or anything? Um, not, not really. Yeah. I don't think we. Yeah. Some people like them and some people don't. But yeah. there's never been any actual issues or. There's not really anything controversial in there. Yeah. No. We don't do any race That's stuff true. and yeah. all that. Yeah. We don't drop the N bomb ever. No. Just with the you know the the letter to God. That yeah, way, that, yeah. Yeah. It's no. only. It's only Catholics that think anyone else cares about religion. But then there's That's been times, true, yeah. I mean, we've played like Catholic fest or, or cr cr Christian Christian festivals, Christian yeah. festivals yeah. haven't we? And there's been, a, I mean, I, I know Catholics and that who interpret it in one way and mm. see it as a very yeah. a, a positive thing. So it's, it's down to interpretation. The thing about that from God, it's not really about religion. It's just no. particularly yeah. using religious in imagery to discuss problems in society. Mm, yeah. mm. You know, it's one of those things, I suppose, we get misconstrued as a religious band because of those two songs, yeah. but there is no spirituality in anything amazing. we do. And yeah. I don't There's, know. There was, I, I did it at one show as a spoken word type thing, and I had a guy trying to get to me and attack me, yeah, yeah, but yeah. he hardly spoke in English, so he'd just, just trying he'd to misinterpreted a lot, and I was, I, 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 at one point I do do that, and he thought I was kind of <laughs> sending up Jesus in some way and things like that. and he just really was yeah. quite and I, like, I wanted to talk to him about it yeah. like security were, were getting rid of it I was like no I'll talk to him if he yeah. wants to talk because I don't think there is anything that you should get offended about in that song it's not having a go at religion it's yeah. not pro-religion it's an either way so I, there isn't anything in there that I wouldn't like happily stand up for yeah. you know, with someone, but he just didn't understand B. Dolan does do that on stage yeah. actually uh, with Jesus with a sad face mm. <laughs> You're not my real dad. It's <laughs> the gag. It's good. Um, do you guys think you fit into the English hip hop scene, or do you think that it's your your own thing? What English hip hop scene? <laughs> end dubs. We don't fit in with end dubs well, or the chipmunks. Yeah. So yeah, we kind of fit in with the jests and. Clashnikovs and task forces, yeah. I suppose. Because still, it's, that I don't. Yeah, it's it's tough. kind of not doing. Yeah. A, a lot of UK hip hop just copies American hip hop, and That's at true, least yeah. with those guys, they they did something British, but we don't sound like any of them. No, and, don't. and that's you know. I mean, we're not a UK hip hop act. Yeah. Really, there's a lot of our songs which aren't hip hop at all. Some yeah. of them are hip hop, but we're as much a UK dance act, or you know, as many. Yeah. There's tons of different things, but there's a lot of bits which, yeah, wouldn't, in my mind, come under the category of hip hop. Yeah. Whereas there are loads of bits that would. So yeah. it's it's not really. A so you wouldn't really like so your your own category. Again, yeah, I guess so it sounds weird to, to keep having to to, uh, uh, to go to that, but that is kind well, of what, how it What sits. category do you put, say, the gorillas in? Yeah, mm. you can't put them into a category either. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, it's are they hip-hop? Because they yeah. have a lot of... They, have they do most have a lot of hip-hop, yeah. They have yeah. soul and people like that on there, so... Yeah. But then it's in the... But it's not dark. actually, yeah. yeah. But electronic. then they use a lot of electronic as well, and yeah. like synths and stuff, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. it's a weird one. 
Um, you guys played a lot of festivals and it's all different experiences. How do you guys find playing festivals? Is it good? Yeah, good laugh, fun. Like it's a relief. It's fun, yeah. <laughs> and like when you play gigs, it's a different kind of crowd. It's mm -hmm. a lot more of a, it, it's more about you and your performance and yeah. engagement with the crowd. And when you know you can't engage with the crowd so well because of whether it be language barriers or just that you're on stage for 40 minutes yeah, yeah. in mm -hmm. between so many other bands. Exactly. You uh, play a different set and it's kind of exciting to be able to play those sets where you just fly through the tracks and really bang. Yeah. But then it's equally exciting. To